Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Birdhouse Alt from Scratch. Now, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, make sure you check them out. I'll have it linked in a playlist down below in the description. But anyways, we've got three quests left to do before we can get all the kudos to do the Bone Voyage quest. So we're going to get started with that right now. And uh, next quest we got to do, or next quest that I want to do, is going to be Demon Slayer. Which is right up over here in the free play quest. Uh, there's no requirements. It's a pretty fast quest. We do have to kill the demon, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. It should be pretty easy. So let's head to Varak right now and get started with that. Okay, we're here with the gypsy in Varak. She's telling us about the demon and uh, how we are supposed to defeat the demon and the whole bunch of lore behind the game. I've never really read into the lore before. I think the lore is interesting. I've just never, uh, I don't know, just never really gotten into it. Wait, I think I was supposed to memorize that. I'll look over the footage and, and remember what it was. I haven't even said it yet, and I haven't really even like thought about it until recently when I noticed in the last episode, I got no combat sets. Or this whole series, I've got no combat sets. We're still level 1 in every combat. And uh, I think I decided I want to make this account a skiller because I've never had a skiller. Uh, I have an alt account, I have a hardcore, I have a main, but I've never had a skiller account. So I'm going to end up turning this into a skiller and uh, it's going to make this series a little bit more interesting, I think. It won't really add too much time onto it. There's really, I'll, I'll tell you in a bit what we're going to be doing to be able to get some things done. Oh, I went the wrong way. But yeah, I don't think it's going to add too much time onto it. In fact, it might save a bit of time because you don't have to train up combat sets this way for uh, certain quests. So what we're going to do for Demon Slayer is use a ring of recoil against the demon. And I think we do have to do uh, one hit to aggro the demon from the start with the silver light. But otherwise, we're not going to get any combat XP at all. This is our whole cash stack right now, 4.8k. So we have to buy 25 bones for the quest. So hopefully it doesn't set us back too much. It's, I mean, bones are expensive, but for us, they could be 57. That's not too bad. And we'll buy a ring of recoil as well. That's going to set us back a bit too. Now we'll take all this out now. And we are left with 2.3k and we got everything we need for the quest. Hello, Mr. Knight. I've got a surprise in my inventory for you, sir. Now let me get that silver light, boy. We got it. Apparently it equips automatically too. That's very interesting. That's mildly interesting right there for you. Cool, we got silver light now. It's a new best in slot for us. It's an upgrade over the bronze sword. We are ready for this fight, or at least as ready as we'll ever be. Um, we got the ring of recoil, we got the silver light. I pretty much just found whatever food I had in the bank because I didn't want to go to the GE and buy more. So this is what we got. Uh, hopefully it's enough. And let's just send it in here and see what happens. Hopefully we don't die on the way running in to this place. Okay, the cutscene has started. Okay, we got aggro the demon. Let's take the sword off so we don't actually do a hit on here. Okay, we got... Oh, we got... Okay, I guess we have to have it equipped. We got aggro the demon somehow. Oh, no, the ring of recoil is doing its stuff already. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude. Oh. They're hitting sixes. How do I de-aggro them? Okay, we'll just stand here, and we'll wait for Delrith to walk this way. Here we go. There it is. Let's put on the ring of recoil, and uh, we're going to be good. And yeah, we just got to finish him off. Oh. I thought we had to do a hit on him. Oh, okay, here we go. Banish. Okay, so we don't even have to do a hit. The only hit is uh, the first hit to aggro him, apparently. So let's do the incantation. There goes the demon. See ya later, boy. Apparently, we finished the quest as soon as that cutscene ended. So uh, there's Demon Slayer done. Let's do the next quest now. Next quest we're doing is Shield of Arav. So we're talking to this nerd over here, and we'll get this quest done. So for the quest, apparently, we want to join the Black Arm Gang. And then we get our partner to kill the level 23 weapons master. So hopefully this will work out and we won't have to do any damage this way. This is the point where we have to get a partner for the quest. So we're going to go to the minigames tab, go to Shield of Arav, which is right over here. We're going to join the clan chat and we're going to say looking for a Phoenix Gang member for Shield of Arav Plocks. Okay, we got the certificate now, and uh, we're turning it into the queen to complete the shield of Rob quest. There we go. Uh, shout out to the homie BBWs only for the help with this. Just uh, found them from the SOA clan chat. And uh, there we go, one quest left to go. So we've got one quest left to do, and that's going to be either Observatory Quest or Merlin's Crystal. Now, Observatory Quest is going to be option number one, but there is a chance to get combat XP at the end of the quest based on what your constellation is. So we're going to go through Observatory. Hopefully it's not a combat XP reward. If it is, we're going to have to do Merlin's Crystal and just uh, recoil for the monster there. But otherwise, yeah, let's uh, let's do Observatory. I just noticed for Observatory quests, we have to get level 10 crafting. That's one of the requirements. So let's sell off some of the stuff we have in the bank here. And hopefully we have enough money to buy all the leather we need to get to level 10. 
Looks like we are going to have 5.9k, 6k to work with. Hopefully it's enough. So we're just making the highest possible thing that we can make, which is uh, leather gloves, which is level 1. Hopefully they can sell back for a little bit of GP. Probably won't, though. All right, we just got level 5 crafting. That means we can now make the regular birdhouses. So it's a good thing we're getting crafting up anyways, because we also need to train crafting along with Hunter to be able to make higher and higher level birdhouses. Aw, uh, dude, this is cutting it so, so close. We barely have just enough money to get all the things that we need for level 10 crafting. So we'll make these last two cows here, and one more, and that is going to be level 10 crafting. That is the requirement for the quest, and uh, we can now spin flax to bowstring too, which we'll end up doing at some point uh, very shortly on. But this is literally the whole cash tech that we have right now. So if you look in the bank, we have to sell a few more things off to be able to buy some of the items that we need for the quest. So uh, we'll scrape on by though. When they say start from the bottom, we are like really at the bottom right now. We have nothing. We have like almost nothing. This is like the only kind of sort of cash that we could potentially have. Don't worry, once we start making birdhouses, the money will start rolling in. You know, I think we need a bit more cash, so we're gonna buy a couple hundred flax and go to Lumbridge and spin this. We'll see how many craft levels we get from the 200 flax we got here. Okay, perfect timing. Right here at the end of the inventory is 15 crafting, which means we can now craft oak birdhouses. We do need to get level 14 hunter, I believe, before we can actually make the oak birdhouses. So it's gonna be a couple birdhouse runs before we actually get to the oak birdhouses. We're gonna be starting with the regular ones, but it's nice to have these requirements out of the way because you only get 25 XP, I think, for each birdhouse that you make, but you get way more hunter XP. Oh no, the crafting XP is actually scaled based on what type of birdhouse you use. So it's anywhere between 15 for a regular birdhouse and 55 crafting XP for a redwood birdhouse, whereas the hunter XP ranges from 280 XP for the regular birdhouse and the redwood birdhouse gives you 1200 XP each. So we're gonna have to do a lot of crafting training uh, in between doing birdhouse runs. Okay, so with the flax we had, that was enough to get us to level 19 crafting. I know it's not 20, 20 would look so much nicer, but we'll have plenty more time to get up more efficiently in the future. This is really not efficient at all, but uh, we'll pause the timer here. It took us like, what, nine and a half minutes, just over nine and a half minutes to do all this. So let's go to the GE now and sell all this off. And it should be enough to make a set for a while. I don't think we'll have to do any more uh, really non-birdhouse money-making methods ever. We'll see how much it's worth though. Yeah, this is definitely enough to have a set forever. I'm going to use the Castle Wars teleport on the minigames tab to save a charge on the Ring of Dueling because, uh, you know, gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, starting Observatory Quest now, and again, if you are a skiller, it may not be completable because you might get combat XP at the end. So hopefully this isn't all for vain and we are able to complete it. If not, it's not a huge deal, it's just me slightly annoying. Oh my god, every time I do this quest, it's literally always the last chest I always search every single time. I've been wandering down here for like 15 minutes trying to find this chest and... Oh, dude, I hate this quest. We gotta wake up this guard who's level 42, and normally you have to kill him, but you could also just run away and run to this uh, safe spot area over here and get him trapped. So if you run to the corner right up here, then uh, not die and run down over here. He should get trapped behind there, and we're all set to go inside the kitchen and get what we need. Okay, this is the moment of truth. This is where we're gonna find out whether or not we can complete the quest. So let's view the telescope and see which pattern we got. Uh, give me a second here. So, this is the one that gives us 875 strength XP. So, uh, we are gonna go and do the Merlin's Crystal quest. Alright, we're doing Merlin's Crystal. Probably should've just done it from the start, but, uh, we're gonna do this quest now. No combat XP. This one's a guaranteed completion. And, uh, I guess it's gonna be dope to have the Excalibur. I think that'll look really cool, so... Let's do this. Ah, uh, that's just great. <laughs> no. I thought he can max the three. He can hit fours, I guess. So it looks like his max hit was a five. So if you're doing this, don't let your hit points fall below six if you're a skiller. Yo, we just got Excalibur. This is gonna look tight, dude. Check this out. <laughs> we can't equip it. Never mind. This is now going to be the fifth and final quest complete that we need to complete our 100 kudos. So uh, there it is. Six quest points, Excalibur. And now let's head to Varrock now and get our 100 kudos. If you go upstairs here and talk to the uh, historian Minas, just uh, skip through the dialogue and all these kudos will start piling up. So uh, we'll tell him we got some information. And now we just skip through all this. And there's the kudos going up right now. Alright, there's the last quest done that we talked to. We now have 103 kudos. We got a couple of XP lamps here too. I guess we'll put them both into Slayer because as a skiller, it's going to be very hard to... Ah, oh, we need 20 Slayer. Can we use this one on Slayer? No? Okay. We can't even use them on crafting because we don't have 20 crafting yet. <laughs> so we can't bank it, we can't destroy it and get it back, so we don't have too many options. Uh, 
it's kind of stupid we gotta do this, but we'll just put them both on mining because might as well get the XP. There's really no other options. So we'll just do that. 1k mining XP and another 1k mining XP. And that also puts us at 33 mining. Before starting the Bone Voyage quest, we were quickly buying the very first couple ruby necklaces and enchant ruby tablets. And now, if we, uh, let's unknot these necklaces. I think we just uh, use the tablet on that thing and use it again on that one. And now we have two Dixite pendants. So that's what we're going to be doing. Not going to be getting magic up because, uh, you know, skiller by the way. So that's how we'll be getting our Dixite pendants from now on. Okay, here we go. The Bone Voyage quest has been started. Any second now, this should be it. This should be the completion of the Bone Voyage quest. On the level 3 account, 1 combat stats, 10 hit points. We're done. We're ready. We're ready to start. I haven't trained construction yet, so we're not going to build the things on the island. At least for now, maybe eventually, but they're really not necessary for what we're doing. Yeah, we uh, let's just get off the boat just to be sure. Alright, cool. So, let's teleport back to Lumbridge. Never mind. Okay, I was just waiting a bit. Now we should be able to home teleport back to Lumbridge. And we're going to head over to Hans and see how long it took us to get to Fossil Island. Now keep in mind, I did not do this efficiently. I stood around for a while and like recorded clips over and over and looked up things on the wiki. And I did do a lot of bank scanning, but um, this is, I guess, what you can expect if you're doing this inefficiently. Here's Hans right over here. And 9 hours and 50 minutes. So you will definitely be able to get this done in under 10 hours. Learn from my mistakes. Don't make all the mistakes that I made. And uh, this should be really fast. You could easily do this in one day. But that is going to wrap it up for today though. In the next episode, we'll go back to Fossil Island. We'll unlock all the teleports. Uh, we'll buy the regular logs and uh, get some clockworks and get the birdhouses going. I'll show you how to do the runs. And we'll be collecting our first birdhouse runs in the next episode. The money will start rolling in. We'll get our hunter level up. We got our crafting level up, and the goal is to get Hunter up solely through doing birdhouses, so we're not going to be doing any uh, lizards or chins or any of that other stuff. All through birdhouses, we'll see how far we can make it. I'm very excited for this. I'm a strong believer that birdhouse runs... Hey, it's BBW again. What's up, dude? I'm a firm believer that birdhouse runs are definitely worth it, especially if you're an Iron Man, but even for regular counts, too. I'm just getting more and more excited the closer we're getting to doing these runs. But again, that's all for today. So thank you again very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, then please let me know by giving the video a like. But with that being said, I will see you again next time.